y'all gotta be dolled up, hair done, makeup, just to look beautiful for me. Yeah. Let's see me. I'm on yeah. that natural shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just come through the studio, you know. Yeah. Slip pants, chill, yeah. don't make a She fresh out of magazine. Mmm. Baby, I can't wait. I love when you uh, make spaghetti. <laughs> and I love when you clean up after I make the spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what up, what up, D? You on your way, man? Oh, man, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it, bro. Got me working overtime. Oh, man, you mean to tell me you're going to miss out on this delicious spaghetti again, bro? Yeah, man, I wanted to be there, but but check, if I if I get out sooner, then I'll just slide through. All right, cool. Yo, um, D, I was gonna ask you, man, what's going on with you and your dreams, man? Uh, I'm good. But, uh, what's, what's up with you? I don't know. I, I had a nightmare the other night, so I was just being curious. Oh, uh, I'm sorry about that, man. Yeah, I stopped having minds, you know, a couple of months ago. I'm good. You know, maybe I'm just being paranoid because it's so close to the date and everything. You know me. Honestly, B, I, I just think you, you worry too much, man. You know? You gotta just like stop thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. You, you right. You right. I ain't gonna think about it no more. Look, if you want, I can, I can send you a plate with jazz. You know, I made enough for everybody. Oh yeah, I need that. That good spaghetti. Yeah, yeah set that up for me, man. <laughs> man, you know what? I, I hate this job. Why you always complain about your job? At least you have one that pays good. Okay. All right. All right, D. Peace. <sighs> Oh, Titi, can you finish cutting them bell peppers for me, please? That spaghetti smells that good. Well, you know Uncle B puts it down in the kitchen. I mean, that's what I do. <laughs> oh, baby, get the door. Okay, I'll get it. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, give me those shoes. Oh, honey, I love it, too. Hey, guys. What's up, girl? Oh, um, Daryl said make sure his plate's big enough this time. You tell Daryl that he can't make demands in my house unless he shows up, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, girl, that's enough. Okay. Thank you. Where's my Uncle Daryl? Well, hello to you, too, TT. Hi. What's wrong with her? Puberty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Wait, mmm. It smells so good. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. So I see Titi's still here. I thought she was only here for the summer. Well, she was, but you know, me and Michelle had to take her in full time. My sister with the back surgery is mm, too much on it. I'm sorry to hear that. But she's in good hands with you guys, oh, though. Titi's cool. Yeah. Uh, wait. So I heard the news. <sighs> Come on. Damn. Come on. <laughs> well, tell me, are we having a niece? Well, we don't know yet. Ain't that right, baby? And we don't want to know. If we're happy with whatever it is, as long as it's not ugly. <laughs> I'm just playing. Stop. Girl. Girl. <laughs> I think you should have a boy. I'm going to get back to the spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so plan for a boy. Okay, Girls so the baby shop. OG, OG. What you doing, man? Why you got them boxes? What are you doing, man? Oh, I don't know. The, the workers had to leave. I had to move some boxes for them. We got to get the work done. Look, man, I'm gonna need. Well, this is we're security. We gotta get the work done and get it done and get it done, get it done, done. We gotta help them get the work going. Right, you know what? I just noticed something. You look like a Mario. Oh, oh, you got jokes now. Okay, now see. Touch. You. you know you like that. No. One more game. You want that one more game? Cause people be telling you that, don't they? You want that one more game? No, I don't. I don't want it. One more game. No, I don't want it. Touch. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I had to make it now. Come on, OG, hurry up, man. The boxes and your jokes. The boxes and your jokes, man. I told you, you need to stop doing that. He don't listen to me. I'm like, damn, you, I mean, you got to. He'll listen to me. I'll... Uncle Brendan? <laughs> Look what I found. Uh, girl, uh, where, where did you get those from, young lady? Your bedroom drawer. <laughs> Auntie Michelle, why do you have handcuffs in your drawer? Girl, give me those. Give Titi, uh -uh. come back here right now. Stop running. I am not playing Baby, with catch you. Titi, come here. Titi. How are you going to get out of those without a key? How 
did you do that? Okay, baby, you definitely need to learn that trick. Okay, okay, <laughs> TT, stop playing your uncle's private toys and stay out of our business. Yes, ma'am. Did you and Uncle Brendan use these for something? Uh, the, 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 the burglar? The burglar. The burglar. Yeah. Because remember mm -hmm. when the, when when a burglar came in and then you have Uncle, to Uncle, Uncle Brendan had to arrest the burglar. Yes, and put the, I remember and I that. And used the handcuffs. Exactly. That's that's why I had to. Mm -hmm. Right. I thought only police were allowed to use handcuffs. Okay. Uh, it's getting way past your bedtime. Say good night to Auntie Jasmine. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm. Good night, Michelle. Yeah. Give me a kiss. Good night. Good night, girl. Mm -hmm. Did you do your homework? Yes. Brush your teeth before you go to sleep. Okay. With the new toothpaste I just got you. Okay. The baking soda. Hey. Love you. Oh my god. That goodness. little one is trouble. Girl, <laughs> she's just young and curious. You know how we were at that age. Baby, how was you at that age? We were. I was curious. Girl. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I know this is not a good subject. You know March 6th is only a week away. I mean, I wouldn't even bring it up if Daryl didn't constantly talk about it. No, 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 just... no. You're right, you're right. Honestly, I did have a nightmare the other night. You did? I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? You know what? <sighs> Maybe we just need to stop thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Daryl told me his nightmare stopped about three months ago. At least if they would have found him, I wouldn't be so paranoid, you know what I mean? Was it that bad? Have you seen Chainsaw Massacre? Baby, you weren't even there. Uh, well, you told me the story so many damn times, I might as well have been. Honestly, it was that bad. Nothing I want to remember. <laughs> I'll toast to that. Right. Okay. To no more bad dreams. No more bad dreams. Nope. All right, let's get back to having some fun, all right? Yes. yes. That's what I'm talking stuff. about. You know what I'm talking about the control I have over Daryl. I told you not to fly. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Drop my flashlights out, man. We need some guns. We do. Let's go. Hi, baby. Sweet Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. I brought you a huge plate, just like you asked for. Yes, this is looking righteous. But wait a minute, um, this is like a surprise. Yeah. You're gonna be gone all week, so I just wanna make sure you eat something. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I miss you. I miss you too. Okay, I'll see you at home. Okay. Alright, bye. Just a beautiful baby girl. Look at that. Have a good day, you Okay. I'm sorry, baby. I, it's just she was there with the whole thing, and I, I, I know, I know. Let me call Daryl. <laughs> what? 
Oh, did, he didn't pick up? No, that's strange. He normally picks right up. Try him again. <clears throat> Hello? D, man, why you didn't pick up your phone? Whew. Man, I'm sorry, man. It's a doze off. I feel you, bro. You had another nightmare? Yeah, another nightmare. I don't know, man. I just feel weird. B, man, you gotta, like, really stop stressing over this, man. You're getting too paranoid, man. Everything's it's cool. Hey, by the way, uh, thanks for calling me, man, because if they would have caught me sleeping on the job, whew, <laughs> not a good look. All bad. My mouth was open. <laughs> I got you, D. All right, bro. I'll talk to you later. All right, thank you, man. Peace. Babe, you need me to get you anything? Some water or anything? No. Just gonna try to get some sleep. Good night. Good night. Hey, baby. Babe, did you leave yet? I'm on my way to you right now. You gotta call on line one. Okay, um, um, babe, I gotta go. I gotta take this call. I'll see you when I get home, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, Tony. Is the property still available? Uh, yes, the Lewis property is still available. Right. Okay, let's show it. Okay. All right, well, I gotta go. I gotta go pick up my niece from the babysitters, and my husband is waiting for me, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Lisa, I'm showing the Lewis property next week, so make sure you set the meeting with Tony, okay? Okay, no problem. All right, good night. Fine, Walter. You just scared the hell out of me. I'm, I'm just paranoid for no reason. Looking for these? <sighs> yes. Thank you. You're So, TT, you ready for school? Yes. Um, do you think I can go to work with you today, or do I have to go to the babysitter's game? No, you can go with me. Okay, no worries. Baby, what y'all still doing, TT, to be on time oh, today okay. for school? Right. Good morning. Good morning. Come on, put on your backpack. Let's go. Put on your backpack. All right, TT. Love you. Love you, too. Have a good day at school. You have a good Baby, day. where's our lunch? I got this. All right, let's go. Oh, babe, I feel so bad you lost your job. Baby, it's, it's a job. I mean, I could just get another one, right? Okay. Good luck job, honey. Mwah. Oh, baby, can you please take TT to the parent-teacher conference today and bring her home with you? I already told her she can come with me. Boy, well, you gonna wear me out before we have this one. Practice makes perfect, <laughs> baby. I know, I know. All right. Love you. Love you, too. <sighs> oh, wait a minute.
Jasmine Fox? That's me. Oh, good. The doctor will be seeing in just a moment, honey. Jasmine, when are you going to talk to Daryl? That's my boy. I, I can't keep lying to him. You know, or my wife, for that matter. Brendan, you're the only person I can trust. I'll tell him when the time is right. What about the miscarriages? Does he know about that? Jazz, come on. Either you tell him or I'm going to have to. And does the doctor even know why that keeps happening? I mean, it's just strange that three miscarriages in a row, I mean, it, Jasmine, Dr. Rice is ready. He'll see you now. Come on. Okay. Look, I'll tell him tonight. You sure you don't need me to come in with you? It's okay. I'm fine. I already know it's today. Good. Says everything looks great this time. <sighs> What's your name? Brian, what's yours? Samantha. I can help you if you can help me. How can I help you when I'm strapped to this bed? Have you seen my eyes yet, Brian? Do you know what day it is? Oh my god. office like this um it has its moments <laughs> well one day i want to be just like you oh tt you're so cute but you know you have a lot of time to think about what you want to be when you grow up thanks for picking me up early and taking me to my conference i know you didn't have to oh it's okay i don't mind it plus you're my little niece too thanks let's get out of here cool beans auntie what's cool beans it means like cool like I agree with you. You're getting old. You know what? I am getting old. Come on, let's go.
Samantha? Did you fall down and go boom? Hush now. Hush. Hush now. Hush now. Hush. Shut up. I said shut up. I said shut up. All of you shut up. All of you shut up. Look, officer, I already told you a hundred times. I checked with her job already. They said she left at 7 o'clock. She normally gets home around 7.45, 8 at the latest. It's 10.30 now. I mean, she has my niece with her and my sister's gonna freak out. All right, I'll just wait till you guys get here. Hey, Brendan, did you find her yet? <sighs> nope. I'm sitting here worried sick. Daryl's worried too. He couldn't get off work early, otherwise he'd be there with you right now. Look, I just got off the phone with the detectives. They said they're on their way, so I'm just gonna wait till they get here. I'll be right over. It's only been 24 hours. I'm sure she'll turn up. Well, here's a picture of what she looks like. Okay, can I keep that picture? Yeah. Sure. Thanks. I searched the house. I don't see any evidence of wrongdoing. No foul play. Thank you. What's your relationship with the missing person? She's my best friend. Either way, you've got to wait 48 hours before we can file a missing person's report. Let me get this straight. My wife and my niece are missing? And you're telling me I have to wait two days before you guys can do anything? Yes, sir. Unfortunately, that's the law. Listen, we took the report. We'll file it and call you as soon as we hear something. Just take my car. That's my personal cell phone. If something happens, you hear anything, just call me. That's the best we can do until two days have elapsed. Sorry, I wish we could do more. Come on. Sorry. You know, I really, really hope Michelle is playing a joke on me because she knows the date. Michelle wouldn't do anything like that. Plus, she wouldn't play with your sister's daughter like that. I'm sorry to bring this up, but have you talked to Serena lately? A couple of times. You know, it's funny because I still think about her sometimes. You know, I'll be looking at Michelle and I'll see Serena. Brendan, it's only natural. This is all happening again. I know it. What? March 6th. Michelle, TT are missing. It's all happening again. I, I just feel it. Brendan, I think you're overreacting. What are the odds of it happening again? Look, you weren't there. Okay, me and Daryl, we almost died. We, we were sitting in the cabin and, and the guy seemed so normal. He was like, the phone's right over there in case you still need to use it. Just make yourself comfortable. I'll go get Sheriff Bob. Thanks. Man, I'm gonna call Seager and let him know you're okay. Alright. There's no doubt on him. Oh, dizzy. Uh, excuse me, sir. There's no doubt on him. Phone lines must still be down. They'd be back up soon. Sheriff's just finishing up in the restroom. He'd be right out. You okay? Some water, please. You got it. Hey, man, you all right? Man, something don't feel right about this, man. Look, we should go. We should go now. What about the sheriff? We gotta wait on him. Look, man, I don't even think the sheriff is here, man. All right, Let's go.
right, Brendan. I wasn't there. And Daryl doesn't talk to me much about it. <sighs> Look, everything's gonna be okay. Trust me. You just seem so stressed. Is there anything I can do to help? You know what? Um, maybe you should go. You know, I don't want Daryl to be worried about you when he gets back. I mean, I'm sure Michelle is fine. It's probably just a flat tire or something. I'm sure. Call me if you need me. something strange and I just just had another nightmare about dinner. Brendan, I'm just so scared. I don't want to be alone. Jazz, I, I don't think it's a really good idea that you be here right now. I know. It's just that I'm always alone. Daryl's not around and you've been there for me. I, I know, I know, but I'm a married man. Okay, and Daryl is my best friend. Say no more. I'm just worried about Daryl. He didn't come home and I panicked. So I came over here to see you. Look, why don't you go back home and see if Daryl showed up? I'll call the detective. I still got the card around here somewhere. Okay. Let me know what they say. Billy. You don't remember? Daryl wasn't home when I got there, so I just came back to be with you. You were so tired. I didn't want to leave you alone. I just brought some of your clothes. I hope you don't mind. I didn't even realize I fell asleep. 
I know, poor baby. I threw a blankie over you because you were cold, and I rubbed your head until you fell asleep just like a baby. Let me call Daryl. Straight to voicemail. Brendan, you look so stressed. I'm worried about you. You didn't sleep at all last night. <sighs> it's just that this whole thing has me tripping. It's like I, I was just in the cabin and Brendan, and Serena, it's gonna be okay. Serena, it's not okay. Everybody that I'm close to is missing uh, again. I don't even know where to look. What? You called me Serena. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I've been doing that a lot lately, and Michelle hates it. Are you sure you're going to be all right alone? I can cancel my appointment today if you need me to stay with you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. Go ahead and, and go to your appointment. I, you sure you don't need me to come with you? I'm sure. And the police will find them, and this will all be over soon. Jazz, what are you doing? We can't do this. Yes, we can, Brendan. Don't you want me? I, I have a wife, okay? Daryl's my best friend. They would kill us if they found out. That wasn't what you said before, Brendan. That was a mistake. We were both drunk, okay? And I wasn't married then. It should be me. I should be your wife, not her. Get out of my house, Jasmine. Boys lost or something? No, we straight. My name's Steve. Boys from around here? Uh, actually, we're not from around here. Brendan, it's my friend Daryl. I'm looking for a phone. No problem. Hop in, boys. Uh, where are you going? The sheriff's station is that way. Well, I was thinking the sheriff's over at my cabin. Boys say you need to talk to him, right? Come on in, boys. You can talk to the sheriff, and then he can drive you back up to the city. Hello? Oh, this can't be happening.
I want to go home. Me too. Me too. TT, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? I swear I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, go, Daryl, can you please help? He will, baby, he will. He will. Oh. Miss Fox? Miss Fox? Detectives. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Certainly. But can you tell me why we're at Brennan's house for this report? I was here before. I, I told you already, sir. I know, but it just seems strange that we're not at your house for this. That's all. So let me get this straight. He just up and left just like that? Yes, sir. I told you. I called his phone. He didn't pick up. So I rushed over here as fast as I could to check on him. When I noticed the door was unlocked, I called you guys. Well, there have been a few missing reports around here. A few? All my friends are missing. Give us some time, ma'am. He'll be back. He might have just taken a walk around the neighborhood. He was a little stressed yeah. last time we were here, so... They could be somewhere dead for all I know. We understand, ma'am, but you've got to be calm, okay? We're going to find your friends. We're doing all that we can. Ma'am, Miss Fox? Okay, okay, let's get back to the station. We've got some work to do. Can way. anybody hear me? Hello? Jasmine! Jasmine! Beth. No! No! Jasmine's not here. It's just me and TT. Where's Uncle Brendan? He can help. I can't believe we back in this situation again. You got your black asses out last time. You better get us out this time. What are you talking about last time? Oh, God. Baby, it's a long story. All right? Not like we're going anywhere anytime soon. I'm gonna get us out of here. Sir. What was that? Excuse no, me, sir. I didn't, know. I didn't get that package. Sir. You Mr. I didn't do OC. that. I didn't do that. Yeah. What? I'm doing the wheels of that. Sir. Sir. Oh. Sir. Are you Mr. OC? No, it's OG. OG, okay. O and G. Oh, do it. What you doing looking in the closet? Sir, when's the last time you saw Mr. Daryl Jennings? That's my discipline. Oh, Daryl, he been disappeared. I don't know where he is. He gonna get fired. <laughs> he ain't been at work. How long has he been gone? Two days. Well, I didn't have nothing to do with it. You sure? Mm-mm. But if he shows up, you'll call us? All right. I don't got a record. I didn't say you did, sir. Car. What's your name? What's your name? What's it? Uh, 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 Detective Smith. Oh, Smith. <laughs> like the Matrix. <laughs> okay. Just give us a call if you see anything. Thank you. Okay. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. One more here. One more here. <laughs> yes. We got these uh, these flashlights. I wanna see if I can get me a gun because I got this flashlight here and this shit don't do nothing. I guess it. No, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. Why didn't you make sure he was dead? Look, that wasn't my fault. Like, I wasn't the one that pulled the trigger. Had it been me, I would have shot him three times in the head and made sure his ass was buried. Why didn't you? Little girl, you're asking too many damn questions, okay? You just stop talking about what happened and figure out what we're gonna do now. Look, I agree. I know Brenda has to be looking for us by now. That's if he hasn't gotten them too. Do you think that Uncle Brendan will rescue us like how he rescued you guys last time? Listen, TT, I'm gonna get us out of here, okay? I'm so scared. I know. Look, we are gonna be okay, all right? I promise I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? 
Come on, Brendan. Come on, man. Where you at? Corbin. Corbin! What do you want from me? Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Tomorrow's the anniversary of your death, dear. March 6th. Tomorrow I'm sending a lot of people to be with you. You won't be lonely anymore. Would you like a drink? Let's have a drink. Oh, you don't feel like drinking right now? Well, that's fine. I'll have a drink. To my lovely wife, Jane. I love you always and forever. It's time to play. No! 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 no. Play! 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 No! Play! 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 figure out a way to get out of here before it's too late it's already too late what are you talking about he's at the door welcome home michelle <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
come get me! Come get me! I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. What's your name? Samantha. Okay. Samantha. <laughs> I'm Michelle. Okay, and ain't nobody dying up here today. Okay? We gonna get up out of here, girl. Trust me. My husband Brendan is gonna come straight through that door any minute and save us. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite, right? You look just like my little Daisy. Oh, I hope I haven't hurt you too much. You're going to look so beautiful at the party. Jane will be so pleased with the work I've done for her. You know, I used to do Jane's makeup for her. She would have loved you. She always loved brunettes. You know, she dyed her hair black so she could look more like Cher. <laughs> Don't cry. I'll be back for you, Michelle. hospital waiting to die. Look, I'm gonna tell you like a told old white girl over there with no eyes. Ain't nobody dying today. What makes you so confident? I know because I've been in this situation before. Well, not me, but my husband has. It makes you think he's not just gonna kill us all. His name is Corbin. 
Right, not my husband. My husband's name is Brandon. But the person who everybody's running around scared from, his name is Corbin. So Brandon saved the day before. I'm kind of hoping he saves the day again. I hope so too. Look, I hear somebody coming. Act like he's asleep. so much, Michelle. No. Haven't you missed me? What did I do? Please stop! Michelle, Brendan won't be saving you this time. <laughs> no. I no. think I want your heart. No. No. Oh. No. Mushy stuff for after we get out of here. Okay. Look what I found. out of here with us. Let's go. Okay. Hey, wait. Home 
scared. Corbin's ass is dead. Oh, God. Daryl! Daryl! Daryl!
Yes, he did. Look, TT, you see those keys right there? Yeah. I need you to grab it and unlock the cage. Hurry up. Please, please. I thought you was Corbin. Oh, God. 
I knew you would come for me. I'm so happy to see you. I told Daryl and Titi not to worry. Um, actually, he was here, but kind of had to save him. Uh, he got you too? Yeah, unfortunately. Look, whatever. Where, where's Daryl? I don't know. I think Corbin has him. All right, well, come on. Let's go get him. Oh. Oh, Jane. Isn't this cake wonderful? Do you like it? What the hell is this? It looked like some kind of party for Corbin's wife. All of our children helped us bake it. I do have a special treat for you, though. I did save Daryl. Just for you. Daryl? Where? Where? Hey, look, we gotta get Daryl up out of here. But we gotta do it quick. Corbin's real smart if he finds us, we dead. Baby, go distract him. What? No, well, no. I ain't trying to go out there and get killed. I was thinking maybe you should be the decoy. I right, look. I'm gonna go around the other side and see what I can do. Okay. I'll be right back. Easy. Easy. It's okay. It's okay. I do have an apology to make. I've been so busy with these idiots. Dress for the party. Corbin. You wanted me. Come get me. Sorry, Brendan. I should have never put you in that position. It's just that I've always loved you, and I let my feelings get in the way of my logic. Look, 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 look. All I'm concerned about right now is getting everybody out of here safely and alive, okay? Okay. I'll deal with you later. Come on, let's go. Deal. Forget about your wife and your little friends. They're all as good as dead, too. See, your only way out is if we let you. We? Hello, Brendan. <laughs> Corbin, I swear if you 
Use that one hand on her, I swear I'll kill you. What, Brendan? <coughs> what are you going to do? I, I, don't, I don't understand. You don't understand? Let me make it clear for you. You tried to kill my father, didn't you? Corbin is your father? Well, not my blood father. See, long time ago, my father was really abusive to my mother. He ended up killing her and himself. So I went to go live with my grandma, Melba. You know Melba, right? The nurse at the doctor's office. Jasmine, Dr. Rice is ready. He'll see you now. You know, we're going to take care of this problem. The store clerk? Is that all for you boys? Yes, ma'am. Are you boys from around here? No, ma'am. We're from Los Angeles. Samantha? Hi. Dr. Rice will see you now. Hi, Samantha. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Are you in shock, Brendan? I bet you are. Anyway, when Melba and I lost everything, Corbin took us in like we were his own. And you tried to come in between that when you tried to kill him. On his vacation. Vacation? Your father tried to kill us, okay? Oh. But he didn't get the job done. But this time, we will. This time we won't fail, will we, Daddy? Jasmine, please. Please don't do this. Ugh, please. Don't beg. It's so unattractive. What about us? What about our friendship? What about you and Daryl? <laughs> Daryl? Are you serious, Brendan? Four miscarriages? Did you really think I was having them? <laughs> Honestly, I would never want to have his baby. It's hard enough making love to him the times that I did. Bitch. Watch your mouth. Please don't let him hurt me. Look, I never meant to hurt you or your family. I was just protecting mine. Please. I, I love you. What did you say? I said I love you. I admit it, I've always loved you. I never even liked Michelle. I, mean, I, I thought because you liked Daryl, I, mean, I never had a chance, but just let me go, okay? We can kill everybody and we can all be one big happy family, all of us. Corbin? Family? What family? My wife left me a long time ago. I, I know, I, I, I know how you feel. Trust me, I, I know what it's like to lose somebody you love. You don't know the half of what I feel. Look, I understand you too, Jess. I, I, I would never do what your father did to me. I would never hurt you. Or I, I would be a great father to our children. Please, just, just, just untie me. We can, we can be together forever. Just one big happy family. Me, you, and Corbin, and, and Melba. Shut up, Brendan! Stop it. You don't mean that. Do you? Of course I do. Just, just let me go. Hey, babe, how you feeling, man? I'm a little weak, but I think I can make it. 
Okay, girls, I got the plan. Yeah. I think I'm gonna die. TT, nothing gonna happen to you, all right? We just gotta trust Derek. Yeah, look, this is the only way, okay? We gotta bring him to us. All right? Come on, let's do this. Cooper's been on the run for years now. We got him. We won't escape this time. I promise you that. So what about Jasmine? Did you find her? We searched the entire place. We only found Corbin. Sorry, no young lady. You didn't find anybody else. All the bodies we found were dead. Sorry. 